name is Stefan Michel. I work as a systems engineer at EMC, soon to be known Dell Technologies. If you want to reach out to me, the easiest way is via Twitter. Just drop me a line. Today I want to talk to you about VxRail, what's behind VxRail, uh, why I think it's the perfect use case for mid-market companies, and I will also talk about some use cases. So let's get started. So what's VxRail? VxRail is the hyperconverged appliance from EMC, which uh, unites compute, memory and storage in a 2U appliance. So it covers two rack units in one rack. It's called VX rail. Each appliance consists of four nodes and you can easily scale in one node increments up to 64 nodes in one cluster. Of course, there are different types of nodes depending on your requirements regarding performance and capacity. You can choose between uh, different models and there are also basically two uh, families on the one hand side, the all flash models and on the other hand the hybrid models. Um, for each disk group, that means for each node, there can be up to six disks, where the first one is used as a caching disk. Um, the, as a storage layer, um, it, it's um, realized uh, software-defined, and there we use uh, the latest um, version of Vizan. That means you can use erasure encoding and deduplication and compression um, when you have uh, when you use the all flash uh, nodes and uh, this is these are optional but um, you can use them and um, the deduplication and compression is done uh, when data is destaged de from the caching tier to the capacity tier so that's um, how it's um, that's a little bit about the about the architecture um, uh, of the VX rail. Um, again, it consists of four nodes, can scale up to sixty four, and we have uh, basically two lines: the all flash uh, models and the hybrid models. The beauty of uh, the offering from EMC is that many features are already included. For example. Um, first one is replication is uh, included so here we talk about replication on a per vm level um, which is realized by recover point for virtual machines let's imagine you use two weeks rail uh, systems you can replicate your virtual machines from one machine uh, from one appliance to the other appliance using recover point for virtual machines you can use local replication as well as remote replication and also both second feature which is included is backup so you don't need um, an extra backup um, software you can use um, vdp um, to backup uh, your virtual machines from the VX rail appliance to a target, for example, the data domain. And the third feature, um, the VX rail is already cloud enabled. That means that you can tier cold data, data which is not frequently accessed, um, to a cloud. So this can be a private cloud based on um, the ECS, our object store, or um, it can also be a public cloud and there are more than 20 APIs are supported. And this is done via the cloud array technology. And of course, if uh, you want, you can um, build a stretched cluster using two VxRail appliances and this, um, in this case, they would uh, work in active-active mode. 
and that means that um, your R P O and your R T O equals zero. That means in case one side goes down, um, you don't lose any data and you can immediately immediately work on the second side. So where I, do I see the VxRain um, appliance? For uh, for on the one hand side, um, for distributed companies where you have a lot of locations uh, uh, distributed over a wide area, um, and let's assume we have um, a headquarter. Uh, where you um, implement a stretch cluster in active-active mode and uh, some robo locations uh, where you use then recover point for virtual machines to replicate your most critical workloads back to the main um, cluster. That's one use case and the second use case I see is for large mid-market customers where you have one data center or two data centers which uh, can also be um, in active active mode um, and for example um, based on the vblock technology and then if you want to include your uh, robo and edge locations uh, let's assume in for example in a different um, country you can um, then use um, again the vx rail um, in these locations and replicate your workloads back to the main data center. And that's uh, the VX Rail. So I talked about the, the basic technology, about the features which are included, which is um, replication, backup, and it's cloud enabled. And at the end, about, I talked about the use cases. So I'm looking forward to your feedback and just drop me a line on Twitter.